There are no capes, and there is no spandex and damper, the fantasy horror film by Italian director Riccardo Chamello. But the English-language feature, which has been a surprise hit on Netflix, is the first entry in what you could call the Bonelli cinematic universe. The Vampire Hunter tale, starring Wade Briggs, Stuart Martin, Frida Gustafson, Sebastian Croft, David Morrissey, and Luke Roberts, is the first of a new wave of comic book adaptations from Bonelli Entertainment. The Italian publisher billed as Italy's answer to Marvel. The film, which cracked the top three on Netflix's U.S. service, is the origin story of Harlan Draka, a Serbian damper, or half-breed offspring of a vampire dad and human mother, whose blood has the power to kill the undead. Draka was first introduced to Italian comic fans 20 years ago. The collapse of the former Yugoslavia in the 1990s Balkan War is the comic's real-life subtext, and his adventures fighting the armies of the night have been detailed in some 300 issues of the long-running series, published by Sergio Bonelli Editor. The film, directed by Riccardo Cemelo, is the first of Bonelli's attempts to turn its vast library of original characters and comic book storylines into a new fictional universe. Instead of Iron Man or the Hulk, Bonelli's back catalog features tales peopled with human characters. There's the frontier cowboy Tex Willer, paranormal investigator Dylan Dock, hard-boiled detective Nick Rader, sci-fi crime fighter Nathan Never, beloved for decades in Italy and across much of the world where Bonelli comics are published, from Eastern Europe to South America, some of these characters have appeared in cameos in U.S. series. Dylan Dog once teamed up with Batman in a story arc in the DC Comics. Zagger, a sort of Tarzan character with a Native American spin, turned up in a few issues of Flash Gordon. But Damper, adapted by Alberto Ostini, Giovanni Massi, Mauro Azio from the original characters created by Mauro Boselli and Maurizio Colombo marks Bonelli's first entry into the international film space. The film is a co-production with Eagle Pictures and Brandon Box and distributed in North America by Sony Pictures. The film's success on Netflix was a surprise, even for Bonelli. Damper received a frosty reception from devotee fans when it was unveiled at the Italian Comics and Games Festival in Luca last year and was a box office flop in Italy, grossing just €377,000. 350,000 euros. But Damper was always intended for the English language market. And, as its performance on Netflix showed, Bonelli's bet paid off. We knew it would work, says Michel Massiero, editor in chief of Sergio Bonelli Editor. Certainly what is happening now exceeds all our wildest expectations. In its first weekend, Damper was the number three film on Netflix USA, ahead of Minions, David Fincher's The Killer starring Michael Fassbender. Above Sony's Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse. Of the other nine titles in the top ten, the cheapest cost $100 million, says Bonelli Entertainment Director Vincenzo Sarno. Our film cost 15 million euros, dollar 16 million. The success of Damper should help several in-development projects from the burgeoning Bonelli Cinema universe. Next up is a TV series on Dylan Dog that saw creator James Wan is set to helm. The series will follow the adventures of the titular Investigator of Nightmares, who unravels occult mysteries from the terrifying zombie invasions to the ridiculous haunted refrigerators, passing parallel worlds to do so. While there are plenty of fantastic and supernatural elements, the series, like everything in the BCU, is grounded in human characters. No capes allowed. Superheroes with problems have been done. We wanted to portray ordinary men with super problems, which we found it more interesting, says Damper director Chamello. The desire, notes Sarno, was to reach a wider audience without losing the Bonelli style building an editorial line that would unite the legacy of our publishing house with the tradition of Italian genre films, blend them, and take them out to the world. And Sony, a major studio that understands this mission and embraces it, was the first step toward a success that still stuns us.